Hello world, this is Alan, and this is the first of three videos where I'm gonna build a earth flattener using the CC Tweaked mod for Minecraft, which is a modern version of computer craft. These first two videos are gonna be building a prototype where I kind of figure out what I wanna do, and the third video is gonna be a little bit more of a tutorial. So if you just wanna see the build, you can go straight to that one, or you can stick around for the first two and see the prototype. As always, please like and subscribe if you do enjoy the videos and enjoy the show. So this is my prototype world. This is the same seed as my regular play world, but it's different. So what does it let me do? I'm mean, just a different copy of the world. Uh, I've got most of the same things happening, but this world I'm gonna actually potentially do a couple things with like make it a little bit easier for me to do some prototyping. And by prototyping, what I mean is this is where I'm gonna learn how to do some of the builds that I don't totally know how to do up front so that we can do things, for example, like making a sign to have some introduction stuff for us. So while we're working on that, I, I don't want to do that in the play world because that's the play world's going to be the play world. And occasionally in the prototype stuff, I may need to do stuff that's not going to be in line with the play stuff. So what I want to do is I want to clear this area because I want to just have a flat area over here that's going to let me do some experimentation and do some build and also make a sign that we can have that's going to be for saying hi, basically. And I don't know exactly where, how I want to do that, So, I, but I just want a flat space to work with. So we're going to make a flat space thing here. So I'm going to go give me computer craft turtle normal. No, oh, we should have done this. Um, give me diamond shovel. Because when we put down turtle, hey, I got to make. We put down the turtle, we're also going to need to get, we need to give it a tool. Let's just give it a tool and that'll turn it into a mining turtle. Now, next thing we need to do, I'm going to go to VS Code and I, I'm going to open this folder and I don't think if I go to my desktop, where I have the Minecraft directory and under saves, under prototype world, computer craft. I'm not seeing a computers directory here yet, even though I've put down a turtle. And that's because I don't think anything shows up until you've gone into the turtle and made the first file. Edit, let's just do startup.lua. Now let's do print hello world. And we control S, control E to save and exit. And then we go back to VS code open the folder again, desktop, Minecraft, saves, prototype world, computer craft, computer, and zero, because zero is our first computer, because computers tend to count starting at one, uh, starting at zero instead of one. And so here's our startup.lua. And if we go now look at this and we reboot the computer, it says hello world, which is what we're seeing here. But if we do hello from VS code, and save that in the reboot again in the, in the turtle, there's hello from VS Code. So we know that we're editing the file properly and it's gonna show up. So now I can figure out what we actually wanna do. So I want the turtle to move forward and I want the turtle to, when it's moving forward, to cut, to look in front of it and to dig in front of it. And then, if it, well, so if there's something in there, dig it out of the way and then move forward. Something in front of it, dig it and move forward. We've done this a little bit before in one of the other videos, but this one time is not going to be a little different because eventually what we're going to want to do is get over here and deal with this stuff that's up above it. We know that the turtle can cut up or dig up, but it doesn't necessarily have the capability of digging up more than once. In fact, it doesn't have the capability. So we're actually going to have to get some height action happening in here. But start with, let's just work on the first things that we can touch, which are the things directly in front of us. So uh, I'm going to make a couple variables here because the first thing I think we want to set is how the the length and the width that we want to cut. And I want those to be variables because we're gonna start small, and but I want the same pieces of code to run. And then we just wanna update the numbers to make it go farther. So I'm gonna call this, we wanna call that columns and then rows, or width and height, width and length. Let's call that length. So, oh, actually this shouldn't be in the startup though. We can leave this here, hello for VS Code, and now we just need to make a new file. And this is gonna be, oh, what do we wanna call this? Dig, flatten, earth.lua. 
so let's just do this. Let's go start super simple. I'm not even going to put those variables in to start with. I'm just going to go turtle dig turtle forward. Like, let's start super simple because I like just seeing things go. And now what we want to do is if I LS in here to do the list, here's flatten earth. So if I run flatten earth, oh, I didn't give it fuel. Okay, whoops. Also, I didn't spell that right. All kinds of things are wrong right now. This is why we do these in the prototypes. The let's go give the Valen lava bucket. Just pop that right in there and do refuel. And again, this is not something I'm going to do during gameplay. This is only for the prototypes to to make sure we understand how things are working. Because I don't want to I don't want to spend a, a bunch of time trying to do resource stuff when we're actually just trying to actually learn how things go. There's our fuel. We've got some fuel now. And if we go to VS Code, we saw that error here where it's telling us flatten Earth Lua. To attempt to call field for were a nil value. It's because that doesn't exist. For were is what we we're looking for. I should also point out that VS Code is automatically saving every time I go back into the game. That's something that I'll show you in the setup video how to make sure that it happens because it just saves you a little time so that you don't accidentally run something it hasn't saved. In here, let's just run this flatten earth. And I don't think it's actually going to hit anything. Yeah. Let's add one other thing in here, which is going to be a little delay before things run. Sleep three. That'll just let us get out of the menu before it runs so that we can actually see things happen. So let's try this again. Flatten Earth, and that should be able to see it go. There's our dig. There's our move forward. Now, let's add our variables in. So we want to do local length equals five local width equals also five. Now let's do four. A little bit longer than it is sideways. Alien GTH. I cannot type an H to save my life right now. There we go. And let's do this. So four um, lengths up equals one to length. Do these and end. So if we save that and run this again, uh oh, LNG. Oh, I didn't misspell it again. That is a thing that happens in my head sometimes with reversing letters. Try that now. There we go. Oh, interesting. And when it dug, it did like the showing you mud or whatever. I'm not sure why that happened. But that's fine. Okay, so there's our moving forward. So we got that pretty okay. Now what we can do is I, I want to start by clearing by having it clear the plane for us. And then we'll figure out how to do the up and down. We we could do those. Is that the right order? Yeah, let's do that. That seems like a good order to do that. Now what we want to do is we've gotten here and we need to turn back around. At this point, what we want to do is turn right one, which is not exactly how you do that. You do turtle that turn right. And then we want to move forward. We want to dig and move forward one because we need to make sure we clear that what's in front of us. And then we want to move forward. Then we're going to turn right again. And now we can put this back in place and come back the other direction. So let's move the turtle back. Uh, I'm just going to put the turtle right here this time and do flatten. Oops. Awesome. Oh, it looks like it went back one further, didn't it? Let's see. Turn this around. Turtle. No, we can just do turn right. Turn right. So it sh should end up on this one. Oh, the dig. So the first dig with the shovel just goes to mud. I didn't know that. Okay. Or whatever this is. Uh, prepped earth. I don't actually don't remember what that's called. Interesting. Okay. So let's go back to VS Code and we need to change this up a little bit. I'm actually going to make a new function here because I'm using this dig forward, dig forward a bunch. And 
that's like we've already duplicated a bunch and there's probably there may be some other times when we need to do it so i'm going to hoist that out to a function so up here we're going to make our first function which could be local move forward equals function and we're not going to pass anything to it and just do end right here and i'm going to take this dig and move forward and we're going to drop it in here and then this becomes that. So we're just every everywhere we see dig and forward, we're going to replace it with that move forward. So here's one and here's one. And so that that removes that duplication of code for us. And then it's also going to let us add more stuff in here that will just apply everywhere that we've got it. Uh, I'm actually going to comment this out right now because we aren't using that. For the forward, really then what we want to do, I was just making it automatically dig, assuming it was just going to like naively dig in front of it, but it didn't actually clear the block in front of us. So we need to do a turtle. We need to do this while turtle detect is true. Do turtle dig. So this will keep checking in front of us. And as long as there's something in front of us, it'll keep digging. Once we do no longer detect anything in front of us, so we do turtle detect and it becomes false because we don't see anything, it exits the loop and we'll do this when we'll move forward. And then that comes back up here and then we'll move forward again. Let's turn the turtle around, turn. Actually, let's just do this because I wanna move everyone. And it's faster to do it this way. So here we go, here we go, flatten earth, go. Yeah, there you go. See, it took down both of them. It's good to know that it makes that um, mud path stuff. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming that's where we stopped it. Okay, cool. So that's that gets our that's going to take out our first layer for us for the up and the back. Now we need to do the width aspect of this. I'm going to do this in VS Code. Let's do width divided by two. And the reason I'm gonna do that is we're going up and then we're turning around and moving forward one and we're coming back. So every time we run this collection of code, we're actually cutting down two columns of the length. For the width, if I wanna go four blocks, I would really wanna put two here because this is gonna be one, this is gonna be two, and then it's gonna loop and do three and four. So we need to do width divided by two. And I'm gonna do this as two. Now that means like, like this particular bot isn't gonna have the capability of doing an odd number. We could program that in later so that if if it's doing an odd number and it hits the odd number when it's moved forward, it would just turn around without coming back. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. It's more complexity than I need for this particular application. So we're just gonna put our loop here. We're just gonna be four with step. Oh, L-E-N-G T-H. I'm not actually using that variable name, but I should spell it right. L-E-N-G T-H. So for width step equals one to width divided by two, do, and that's gonna be all of this stuff, and then we'll end it. So that should get us the rows that we're looking for as well. Let's give that a shot. First thing we wanna do is turn the turtle around, and let's move the turtle over here, like that. Uh, that's fine. And do flatten earth. And here we go. Yep, okay, doing the thing, it should turn, it should move in, come back down, do a little bit more, and then turn. Oh, whoops, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So the thing that I forgot to do there was when we went up the row or up the length, we then turned around and then we came back down. We didn't then turn and move over one. So we should do that here too. So if we went forward and we turned right, and we went forward and we turned right, and we came back, then we need to turn left. Because we need to we need to go the other direction, LEFT. And then move forward and turn left again. I'm just gonna copy and paste that because it's a little easier than typing it. All right. Good news is it kind of set up facing us the right direction again. So let's try this again. And I'm just going to clear a couple of these out. Do I have a shovel here? Let's try the shovel. All right. So it, 
Okay, we're, we're set up with kind of a square area here, and it's one, two, three, four. If my if my mental model of this is right, the turtle's gonna end up probably in this square, but it may actually move over one to get ready for the next one. So it may end up right here without clearing this row, but it should clear all four of those for us. So let's see if we got that right. Button Earth. Cool. Just what we're looking for. And it did move over that last one. And the only, I like, I knew that because I've had some experience doing this before. I've seen that kind of behavior before. So we, it cleared our four rows for us and our four columns for us. So now we could actually just figure out how many forward we wanted to go and how many wide we wanted to go and clear that entire layer of land. One of the tricks with that is it's not going to get the ones that are up higher. And I want to, I want to flatten this entire area. Now, one way that I could do that is I could run the turtle multiple times just at each different level and have it run that way, which actually wouldn't be a horrible approach because this is kind of going to be a one-off thing, except for the fact that I want to get this program working kind of collectively. So later, if I want to clear other blocks of land, it'll work for me and do what I need to do. Thinking about how I want to do this, we, we have the capability of digging up one. And if, if we were only ever two blocks tall, that would be great because you could just dig, you could dig up every time and clear all the stuff above you. But that's not really going to be the case for us because we need this is up like three or four up here compared to where the turtle is going to be like the turtles all the way down here. Right. So we need to make sure that we're getting up high enough. And I think what I'm actually going to do is detect above the turtle. And if it finds something, it's going to dig up and then move up. And then when it finishes that, it's gonna then move back down and we'll just keep moving down until we detect floor underneath us. Now there's a couple of ways that that can go wrong, but I wanna start with doing the detect up and the look up thing to start with, cause that's, that's the safest thing to begin with. And then we'll move on from there once we have that kind of going. So back to the turtle and back to VS Code. Thinking about this, we are going forward and we're doing this step. And so we have this move forward and this is where we're going to add more stuff into this move forward. And to start with, what we want to do is do this. So we, we've, we've detected what we wanted to do and then we've moved up and then we've moved forward. So after we move forward, well, there's, there's a question here where we want to do this detection, where we do the thing. So I'm detecting and then moving forward. Let's clear. Do we want to clear the blocks before or after we've moved forward? And I think we want to do it after. So let's do this. We're going to start kind of naive. Uh, I'm going to do turtle detect up. And what we want to do is we want to do another while. Loop. So I could do a conditional here, but I'm pretty sure I want to do this. So while turtle detect up, and this is one of those where I have to be a little careful here, because if I, if I do something like this and I get this wrong, I might send the turtle to the stratosphere and have to go either get it or let it be gone forever. But like it stops at whatever the ceiling height of the world is. So like you can you can build blocks up to go get it. Just don't do it at night when you haven't slept because a phantom will get you. But ask me how I know. So we're going to look up. So while while we're detecting up and while that is true. So when we see something above us, we want to do two things. We want to dig up, which is going to clear the block above us. But then we actually want to go up because we want to keep looking for blocks that are above us. So when we clear a block, we'll then look up and see if, if nothing's there, we'll move up one. So after, sorry, after we've dug, we'll move up one. And then we'll look up above us again, and if there's something there, we'll dig that one out and then move up again. And if there's something there, we'll move out and move up again. And then what we want to do is this. And this is where things get a little tricky, and I, I, we're going to want to change this. I'm going to tell you why we want to change this in a second. But then what we could actually do is we could do the same logic coming back down so we don't know how high we've gone here, but we could just do this while turtle detect down is false. Just move down. We don't need to dig down because then we would go down to bedrock. Like if we dug down every time while we were detecting down, it would we go forever. But we just want to go until we hit something. Now, here's where the trick comes in. If somewhere in the middle of all this mess there's a hole like let's say under here there's a hole that went down to bedrock the turtle would keep looking down below it 
And we don't know that there's a hole there, but its logic would be to look down and see if there's nothing there, and if not, keep going down. So it would keep going down and down and down and down, and then re and then start resuming once it hits something, which might actually be bedrock. So that's not great. So instead of doing a, a kind of naive approach there where we just detect down, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna set a counter here. So we're gonna do this, local how, I did we go equals zero. So we haven't gone anywhere yet. And then what we're gonna do is when we, every time we move up, we're gonna add one to that number so that we're gonna delete this back out. And now what we're gonna do is we, so this tells us how high we've gone up. Like we know explicitly that we have gone up. If, we, if, if this goes up five times, if we look above us five times, we will go up five blocks and it counts and tells us we've gone up five. So now for step down, we're going to start with one and we're going to go to how high did we go? Do end. So we'll do this step down equals one to how high did we go? And for each one of those, we're going to do turtle dot down. And that should bring us back down. Oh, and that actually might be our program actually. Let's see where we are. So we're here. Let's do this. Let's put a couple blocks up here for a second. Let's put one there, one there. Now let's put two here and let's dig a hole just to make sure this doesn't become a problem. Like the turtle shouldn't drop down in there. Like I just did. Uh, I could probably use the shovel to get out faster. Yeah, okay. So it should clear. It's not going to, oh, it's not filling that area. We could fill up that area. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just get the first thing working. But something that we could do is actually fill the area for us as well. Because we'll have a bunch of dirt in there. But let's just try this and see what happens. Flatten earth and we'll see what goes. Yeah, there it is checking to see what's above it. So it should get that other one right there too. Awesome. Perfect. So I think that's actually it. We're not filling land though. Do we want to go ahead and fill land? I think maybe we go ahead and fill land. Yeah. So check this out. If we do this, I wasn't thinking about this, but we're going to add this into the mix. And we'll just make it go this way for now. If we go forward when we've done our step down and we've, we've come down to the same level then we can actually do another detect down sorry we want to do detect down if turtle detect down is false so if we look down and there's nothing there then we want to do turtle that place and I'm assuming at this point that the thing that's going to be the main thing that we're going to see is dirt because we have collected dirt. So I'm not going to worry about if gravel actually ends up in the first slot, then it's going to place gravel. I'll just deal with that later. I'm not worried about that right now. This is just going to be for basic stuff. There's a thing that's first make it work, then make it pretty. And we're not going to worry too much about the pretty thing because right now we're just making it work to start with. And let me add another case, couple things here. We'll do this. We've got those holes down there. It's only gonna, it's only gonna do one hole. So it's not gonna try and get all the way down there. It's just gonna flatten this plane for us. So let's see, and let's add another couple holes here just so we have all kinds of stuff happening. And let's make this one go up even higher. Oh, amount of stuff. Right. All right, let's see what that does. So if, if this works right, this entire area should be kind of cleared up. And actually, yeah, we'll just do this for now. I guess this one's not because those for me. Or it's not going over to that side.
Oops. Okay. I just saw it. I placed it in the wrong place. Stop. I placed it forward instead of down. We need to do place down. And we're going to do that here. This needs to be placed down. Whoa, we're so close. All right, let's put in our testing blocks here. Oh yeah, let's do this. So let's let's put a block here. Let's actually put two blocks there with an empty hole below it. I just kind of want to test all the variations. And so those variations are, it just has something in front of it. It doesn't have anything in front of it. It doesn't have anything in front of it with a hole. It has a bunch to go up. Whoops. It's gonna. It's not gonna get that one, and I'm okay with that. Like, cause it's not gonna see anything on the first time. We could make it go up like five and check, but I'm just gonna clear that manually. This is this is our first iteration of this. So, if that becomes an issue, like the the program at, we're working on right now doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to get almost all the stuff for us. And if it does, we can work on it later if we decide that hey, it was kind of a pain to go finish these other blocks, like that one up there that's not gonna get hit. Uh, that's not next to the right. This one right here. Perfect. All right, let's run it. See what happens. Plot and Earth. Go. There's that. It's going to miss that one. That's fine. That's what we expected. Come over here. Oh, I didn't want... But yeah, it's. it's I think it just put in the ground that we needed. Awesome. There's our ground. 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 Yeah. Ooh, I, d I definitely like the fact that it's putting in that extra ground. Perfect. That's it. And this is what we expected. We, we expected that stuff to still be there. I'm not going to worry about that right now because I think probably for most of this stuff, there's probably connected ground underneath there uh, just based off, you know, playing Minecraft for a little while. So we'll see what happens. But I think what we can do now actually is run the bot. Like I think it's in I think it's in pretty good shape to actually give us a full run. So I want to clear all the way to there. How far do we want to go? Uh, let's go to this about right there. Yeah, perfect. We're just gonna fill up some lava. Again, this is just the prototype stuff, so we're we're playing around with free tools at the moment. This is all about making sure we've got the the programming lined up, because what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to turn this into a tutorial on explicitly how to do this, but I wanted to make sure I was doing it and learn how to do it, so I'm not stumbling through how to do it during the tutorial. That's what these are for. All right, so let's give it a run, and we'll see what happens. And this is going to take a hot minute, but we'll speed it up. Okay, it's not going to take a hot minute. It's going to take a very short amount of time because I didn't actually put in the variables for how long we want this thing to go. So let's count some blocks. So this is one. That's one. Okay. I got about 67. So we'll call it 65 by... Let's see by 30. 65 by 30. Back into VS Code, we'll change our variable numbers to go 65, 30 becomes 15 because we cut it in half. Save. Flatten Earth. And it's off. But also check this out. So it's it this is what it's doing. It's putting our it's putting our land down for us. Now this line right here didn't get done. And that's because there wasn't anything in the turtle to start with. So it tried to place stuff here, but we didn't actually, it hadn't actually picked up any dirt yet. So until it ate some dirt somewhere back here, it didn't have anything to put in. But then on the way back, it did have stuff in there because this all used to be like this kind of line up here up to this water it used to be water. And eventually it's going to put over, uh, put stuff over there too. Especially when it comes back, we should see it fill all this in. Because when it detects down, water also is not considered a block. 
Oh yeah, look at that. It's working perfect. And now it ran out of fuel. No, it thinks it's still going. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh, I wonder. I'll bet I know what's happening. Uh, let's do this. Give me diamond pickaxe. Yeah, I guess these are more like live streams, by the way. Um, maybe I'll say that up front. Maybe you've already heard this. But this is this is more of a live stream than a tutorial. Even though I don't have chat open, I'm not like it's not like a live stream live stream, but it's kind of similar in terms of the tone and the pace, etc. Let's line this up here. Time. Let's give this a pickaxe. I, I, I'm wondering if it couldn't. Oh, I got to give a new pickaxe. It can't have any damage on it. It's got to be diamond and it can't have anything on it. Let's try that. Let's see if it makes it through now. There it goes. Yeah, it couldn't make it through that block with the shovel, I think is what happened. But that's kind of cool. Why didn't it place stuff right there? And like, I could go off and run and do other things. I'm kind of watching the bot right now just because this is our first time through, but as I'm getting a little more confident in its ability to do things. Like we've caught a couple bugs already where it didn't, like it stopped or it broke or did whatever. So, I don't know why I missed those two. Hmm, who knows? But, I'm just gonna fill those in myself. See this, and this is what I was talking about a little bit about. Like, I I, I kind of missed why it did that. It's it's working, so it, somehow it just didn't have stuff in it. So it must have I don't know put stuff back there. Who knows? But it's I'm getting more confident in how the bot is working. So I'm about to just leave it and let it go do its thing while I go do some other stuff because I think this is in pretty good shape. And like that's kind of fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. It's gonna come somewhere over here-ish and just kind of keep doing its thing and have all that land cleared for us so we can use it as our prototype area. All right, let's see what it did so far. It has stopped. Time work complete. I don't know why it stopped here. So I'm gonna check the fuel level. And so I can go into a lure interactive prompt here, which basically just lets me run turtle, get fuel level, zero. It ran out of fuel. Another another problem with this, but that's, that's gonna happen sometimes. I thought that we had enough fuel in there. We did not have enough fuel in there. So let's bring it back. We're gonna add some more fuel to it. Cause I want to get this, I want to get this land clear, but that's, that's yet another way this can go out. Look at all that dirt we got. Bunch of dirt. Ooh, I didn't pick up the turtle. There you go, got the turtle. All right, one more time. And this, this is something that we'll actually work on with trees and a tree farm is getting us more fuel. Um, so we need to be on this one, it looks like. And the reason the turtle was facing the other direction is, and the reason there's a hole right here is because the turtle can turn and it can dig when it doesn't have fuel, it just can't move. So it got stuck and it probably just sat there and spun around and turned around and dug in front of it a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times. But it couldn't go anywhere because it didn't have any power to do it. So we'll bring us back over here. Let's see, how many more do we think we need to have? Um, one, two, three, four, 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 five, four, six, four, seven, four, eight, four, eight. Okay, so let's just do it at eight. We have plenty of dirt after this. So this here. Uh, oh, we do need to do this. We need to add some more fuel to it. So 
I'm going to, again, we're gonna, this is prototype world, so we're just gonna throw some free lava in here uh, after I get rid of some of this. To have some space with which to put in the free lava. And we'll do, give me lava. Four buckets. Lava is the best source for it. It can eat basically anything for fuel that uh, furnace can and it just kind of sucks them all down for us there uh, I've got some other things that we'll do where we actually can watch the fuel levels on things and you could put in code where for example it would if it looks like it's if it knows that it's about to run out of fuel or if it detects it's about to run out of fuel it can go back to a home position for you so for example if you're mining pretty far you don't send it down into the mine and then lose it because it runs out of fuel down low ask me how I know that uh, but yeah, all kinds of good stuff with that. So here we go. We're gonna run this one more time. Oh, it didn't, I uh, had all that earth, but I didn't put any earth in there. Okay, we, I'm just gonna manually do these two. Or three, whatever, just to get that lined up. And now, okay, I think, I think we should be, I think we should be good for the rest of this. So let's time warp again. Tick, warp, oh, let's just do 3,600 this time. But yeah, so I was over there doing things to cut down trees or whatever while the bot was over here doing it. And that's that's one of the things about this. So the the bot can't do really anything beyond what you can do. And it isn't as fast. For example, it doesn't cut as fast. Now obviously it is right now because we're in time warp, but it it doesn't go through bricks or or dig as fast as you can. So it takes a little bit longer. Like it it doesn't have the full the full speed of the of the pickaxe that's on it. Or maybe it actually is the same speed as the diamond pickaxe. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But it's not it's not as fast. There you go. But it's still pretty quick. Oh it missed one. Oh there must have been a hole there. Interesting. Yeah that's so that's one I was talking about. Like that one is is a miss, but that's fine. I bet we can make it miss again if we can get here fast enough and do that. Yeah, so whenever there's a hole, it doesn't see the stuff above it. It's actually going to miss all of these. Like that one's going to stick there too. And I'm just going to take those down manually. And I will leave them there for examples later. Ah, and now it's completely full of blocks. So it's it, its inventory is completely filled up. So it's just gonna drop whatever blocks it can't hold and that's gonna be all the blocks in front of it. Oh, I think we ran out of fuel again. Did we run out of fuel again? I bet we ran out of fuel again. Takes a lot of fuel to do a bunch of blocks like that. Basically it's one turtle get fuel level. Zero. We're so close. So close. It's it's one it's one fuel per move. And look at all that stuff. I'm never gonna get that turtle out of there. Oh, I got it the first try. Look at that. So something else we could have done here is added torches, which probably would have been a not bad idea. We'll maybe work on that for next iteration. I'm gonna clear this line and this line. Uh yeah, this will be fine. So I want to start this on the same line, which is going to be right here. We'll do this. I'm just going to do a, a distance of one. Oh, hang on. We got to give it fuel first. That was the whole part here. Now, one of the other things we'll add in some of the future videos is a way for it not only to detect how much fuel it has, but to go get more fuel if it needs more fuel. So flatten earth. Did I put that in the right place? Yeah, okay. It looks like it's probably in the right place. Maybe off. I hope it's not off by one because that would be kind of a bummer. Times that day. And we'll do time tick or that. Oh wait, it's still going. Stop. I didn't change the number. That's fine. It's doing it's done. We're done. We got the turtle back. We don't need the rest of the dirt. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. Now things that we can do are add torches and we can also like set this up so that it's actually dirt instead of sand or instead of whatever like we can just have it be dirt the entire way through or we could make it whatever floor that we want to have 
I'm going to do that in the next video, but let's talk about this for a second before we get there. So it, it cut everything that we wanted to have. The things that it didn't get that we knew it wasn't going to get were these here, where there was a, there was already a hole below these or a space black below these or a space with no block below it. I could have programmed to get around that, but it would have taken me a little while to program around that and some testing and some whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to knock down those five or six blocks myself, and then we're going to have this be ready to go. Oh, one more over here. Same thing happened. One, two, three, four, five. So like whatever, 10, 15 blocks maybe. That's fine. But here's here's our prototype area now that we can actually play with. Some other things we could do is we could actually build up a wall around this so that it has like its own little like area to it. But like, I'm okay with this. I may run this again and actually clear this area over this direction so that it's goes that way as well. Uh, I'm just gonna figure out if we wanna do that in the, one of the gameplay videos or whatever. This actually, so this probably won't be as much a part of the gameplay video. I've got it, I'm gonna make a specific playlist that has a tutorial on how to build this without kind of the let's learn how to do it, but it's gonna be more like this is the tutorial for how to do it. And we'll, uh, we'll actually put that on the other gameplay world so that you can see it happening over there. And we know now that we need about 20 buckets of lava for that to happen. So that'll run it for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoy checking out the pit that we've made here. That's very cool. We'll do some other things in the next in the next video on this. I'm going to go ahead and replace those gravel blocks with or anything that's not dirt with dirt and then place some torches so that we're not attacked by zombies quite as often. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please like and subscribe. And until next time, be kind and take care and we'll see you then.